A very good evening everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to properly scan documents using your phone and convert to PDF. So you have to prepare for the scanning purpose. And I'll, sh I'll show you also the three different apps that I'm using for this purpose. Uh, the first app that I'll use is a Microsoft Lens and then an Adobe Scan and finally a Scanner Pro. It doesn't matter what app you use, the principle is the same. It's more important on how you correctly scan the documents so that it will give you the best result for the purpose. Okay, tip number one. You scan the document in a well-lit room. That is very important. If it is too dark, the document will not be clear. Tip number two use a contrasting background like in this case you have a white paper so you use a black background or something darker than your paper in that way the apps they can detect the borders of the document easily tip number three place your document in a flat surface like a table or even a floor also will do but then place it in a curve surface so let's start with the first app that is Microsoft Lens app once you open the app you can see that the app could detect the border you should try to include the whole page inside your camera lens or else if it is not inside it's get cut off like this you will not be able to detect the border properly so on a flat surface contrasting background and take the photo now cut capture the document once it is done you confirm and you can check if it is clear or not just zoom in I would recommend to change the filter to the documents so that it will reduce the file size also Sometimes the document is in a wrong orientation. If it is supposed like this one, you tap this more here and tap the rotate and rotate it to the correct orientation. And after that, it's done. So you can add a second page. This add button is here. And then I'll show the second page here. And scan again capture the document once the document is captured confirm that one and again i'll change this one so that it will be a document another thing to keep in mind is uh, whether the document is in focus or not if the document is not in focus it will not be readable so to focus properly you just tap the phone screen where the document is and it should focus after that tap done and rename the file and you can save the file the process is similar for the other apps also so let's have a look at adobe scan so you open the app, tap the camera, it will detect the document if you have contrasting background. Once the photo is taken, then you tap the continue button and you open this PDF file and I can change uh, rotate if I require and change from this color into an auto color you can also choose grayscale that's up to you then I can take another photo for a second page so this will again auto detect the border and it will then take a photo
again you remember to check if the document is clear and in focus after that you can rename the file don't forget to rename to the proper format and save the file So the third app that is Scanner Pro that I also use many times. You open the app. It is also auto detect the document if it is in a contrasting background. So that's important to keep in mind. It's trying to search for the document. So once you place it in a proper way, it will auto cap capture also the document. But if we cannot find the border, it will not auto capture. So once it find the border, it will auto capture and then the second page it again auto capture. After that, you can open the file, check the file if they are in a proper orientation, check if it is clear, sharp and rename from and then you can also rename the file to the proper format Among the three apps, I like uh, Microsoft Lens and also uh, Scanner Pro app. So I'd recommend that you can download uh, Microsoft Lens. It's free. It's available in the App Store or in the Play Store. I would uh, recommend that you practice on capturing or scanning documents in the proper way. It should be in focus. It should include the whole page. There should be no, no missing section on the page. I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.